Hi, y'all. Welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. In this episode, I want to show you a real life example of where I was able to use recursion in the workplace. If you're not familiar with what recursion is or how it works, come on in and take a look and see how this really cool algorithm can help you solve some real world problems. Okay, let's begin. So the app I'm currently building for a cable company returns channels that are often padded with zeros. For example, channel one would come at me with two zeros in front of it, channel 10 would come with one, and I needed an algorithm to strip off these zeros so I could just display the plain text numbers, in this case, one, 10, or plain text string of video on demand. This is my first attempt at solving that problem. I just wrote an extension on string called strip leading zeros, and if I saw one or two zeros coming into these strings, I would simply strip them off and present the leftover numbers. So in this case, if I came in with 001, I would strip that down to a one. 010 comes to 10, plain text strings are left as is. And initially it looked like everything worked until my code was up for review and someone let me know, hey, Jonathan, you know, there's actually some strings that come at you with three zeros in front of it. And when I ran that, my algorithm didn't work because I only stripped off two and not three. My first instinct was to go up here and add a third check. I could add a look for three zeros and strip those off, but that was getting a little bit monotonous. Something triggered in my mind thinking, there's gotta be a more elegant way of doing this. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. And that's when it popped in my head recursion. Is there a way I could rewrite this algorithm to make it recursive? And instead of continually having to strip off one, two or three zeros, what if I could write an algorithm that stripped off the first zero and then called itself repeatedly until it got to no zeros left in front? Now, before I show you how I solve this solution, why don't we hit pause and see if you can write an algorithm to recursively strip zeros off of a given string. Take these examples, see if you can write the algorithm yourself, and then come on back and I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, good luck, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so how did that go? Were you able to write any kind of recursive algorithm? Don't worry if you're not. Recursion is a little bit strange when you first take a look at it, and it takes some getting used to. But let me show you what I came up with, and we'll see if we can't walk through this together. I have a struct here called string util, and I wrote a static function on it called strip leading zeros. And let's walk through this case of this one that failed first here, 00011. And let's see how recursion can be used to write a function that strips off one zero and then repeatedly calls itself to strip off further zeros and then finally leave you with a base string. So if we start off with 00011 here and we call this function, passing that in as the text, let's see what happens. So the first thing we can do is we can just check to see is there a zero in that first character. If there is, we can create a new string dropping that character. And then here's where the magic happens. We can call ourselves again, stripping off further zeros. So here's where we kind of go down the rabbit hole or the rabbit hole in a good way. We're recursing, calling ourselves now, but instead of passing in that original zero with three strings, now we've only got two. So now we come in here with two zeros again. Does the first index start with zero? Yes, it does. Drop that zero and recurse. Of course, now we only have one zero in front. So zero one one now, strip off that zero. We have new text that has just one one. We return that. And finally, we get to a point where we're gonna do a check in this case on one one. We're not gonna start with an index of zero. We're gonna simply return that text of one one. And here's where we start to unwind or walk back all the recursive calls we made before. And this is really amazing, this is really neat. What we're doing is we are four levels down in recursive call stack, and then we're stepping back up, returning that one one text each step of the way until we finally get to the very top, and we are left with simply one one. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Look at what we're able to do here. With very little code, we were able to recursively call ourselves and save ourselves from having to go through those endless checks that I was doing, masking those strings. Now it doesn't even stop here. Look what we can do when we just refactor this a bit. We can take this drop text, for example, and simply inline it right into this function call here. And we don't actually need to store any of this text each time, we can simply return it. So now, Look how elegant and look how small and beautiful this gets. 
we can really get this down to just a few lines. And there, in what looks like just four lines of code, we're able to write a beautiful recursive algorithm for stripping zeros off of our strings. And that's it. That was just a really nice, simple example of where recursion really came and helped me out in the workplace. I just wanted to share that with you because it was really cool. I don't get to do this kind of stuff every day. A lot of these algorithms are already written and built for us in the Swift Collections APIs and things like that. But whenever you get a chance to use something like this, it's a lot of fun. And that's just what I wanted to share with you today. So anyways, that was just a simple example of recursion. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just drop them below. Do hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks for coming everyone. Till then, bye-bye.